、アンシーン64プレゼント。Metal Max is a long living series of strategy RPGs that started in 1991 on the Famicom. Initially created by a rather obscure company known as Createc and published by Data East. Metal Max was quite a revolutionary and ambitious game for its time, being one of the first open world games on the Famicom. With a big world that you could freely explore, with different missions to complete, in any order that you liked, and multiple endings. Yeah, you heard me right. The game had multiple endings, depending on your choices. As you could guess from its title, Metal Max was heavily inspired by the Mad Max movies. All of the games are set in a post apocalyptic world, mostly covered by deserts and destroyed cities. Here, the players could accept bounty missions, hunt down monsters or criminals if that's your thing, and upgrade your combat vehicles and weapons. After the first chapters on the Famicom and Super Famicom, that was in 2D, in 1999, on the Tokyo Game Show, ASCII Entertainment announced a new 3D Metal Max. It would be published on the Sega Dreamcast under the title Metal Max Overdrive and was later renamed. Metal Max Wild Eyes. Unfortunately, the game was never completed. It only h a v e a few screenshots and short video that still exist to preserve the existence of this interesting strategy title. Since there is not much to show from the lost Dreamcast version, most of the footage you're looking at is taken from、um, The Metal Saga, the fourth game in the series published in 2005 for PlayStation 2. It was also released in North America 2006, all thanks to Atlas. Metal Max Wild Eyes would have expanded the open world gameplay from the old Famicom games, but kept the chronological post apocalyptic setting, in which you could move around the map in real time, on foot or using one of the many different vehicles that were available in the game, such as tanks, police cars, and jeeps. The players would have been able to explore a vast desert area. You could visit many different cities. Some had buildings you could enter and meet new characters. You could receive new missions to help the survivors of this strange world. And the world itself was filled with weird characters, funny parodies of the classic post apocalyptic movies, and all of their tropes. Just like in previous installments of the series, you could recruit many different companions to help the main protagonist during his adventure. One of them was a dog with a rocket launcher on its back. Yes! Take that, Fallout. Anyway, you could have easily have imagined how Wild Eyes could have been a really funny RPG with a unique sense of humor. During an interview in 2010, one of the former developers explained that the game had been cancelled when the ASCII Entertainment decided to limit its publishing efforts on the video game market. This Dreamcast title had simply been canned to cut cost. In the end, the Metal Saga for PlayStation 2 became the first 3D Metal Max. And even if the series' original producer, Hiroshi Miyoka, was not involved in the PlayStation 2 version, we can imagine that Wild Eyes would have been quite similar to it. So, if this has interested you, fellow post apocalyptic fan, if that's even a word, there is a few more chapters in the Metal series that were later released on Nintendo DS and for smartphones, but these games have never been officially released in English. You can read more about Metal Max Wild Eyes and other cancelled games on the Unseen 64 website. Please check the video description for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world. In their archives, they remember cancelled beta and unseen video games. Please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon. This will help them to keep the site online and to remember even more games that could be forgotten. Thank you for your support.